We went to Home Depot today and we got this piece of wood and those pieces of wood, we actually got that cut into several pieces because we don't, we don't really have any tools in the tiny house. But the idea is that one of our least favorite things about the scamp is the size of the bed. And I wish I could remember who I saw it from, but um, on Instagram I saw somebody who was refinishing a camper, I think it was a scamp actually, and they put a bed extension on. So we're going to see if we can make the same sort of thing work in our scamp. I'll just grab the legs and then see if it'll fit. You broke it. <laughs> Actually, I think maybe they're too short. Yeah. Cause... Well, I think the wood is warped a little bit. Mm. It's not coming out straight. Pretty sturdy though. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> oh yeah, once we get those attached, mm. the dog can go on there and then yeah. It's actually pretty interesting. Mm. We're gonna have to play around with the configuration, but I think I think it'll make sleeping more comfortable. Just extend the bed out. You're right near the heater. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. my side. Yeah, I'm in control of the heater. Getting this extension on the bed was part of what we were doing to get ready for Patrick's birthday trip that was coming up. The other thing that we got, which was like his unofficial birthday present, was this Omnia stove. And this is a very interesting little gadget. So it's this enclosed, very light metal that allows you to cook things basically the same way that you would with an oven, but you put it on a stove top. So you can put it on any propane gas burning stove or even a camp stove outside. So this will let you make muffins and cakes. You can also bake chicken or really Anything that you would do in an oven, this helps you to do the exact same thing without having access to an oven. So it was something we were pretty excited to try out, especially because I knew it meant that I could make Patrick a birthday cake for his trip. One of the nice things about this is that it's extremely light. You can do a lot of similar things in a Dutch oven over a campfire, but this is much lighter than a Dutch oven, and it comes with different attachments. I got the muffin attachment so that we could make cupcakes. Back in the scamp I was working on the window coverings with the Reflectix and I figured out that I needed to cut a little square or an X right over the handle that opens and closes the windows so this way I could fit it closer to the window and get better coverage around the sides of the window casing. And there were a few spots where I had to add new Velcro just because the old Velcro was not quite as sticky. And then I was able to put the Gore-Tex blinds over top of that for just an extra layer of insulation and a little piece of Velcro to hold it so that it stayed close. And I think the whole system was working pretty well. Now I have the window coverings fitted on all of the windows. The window over here by the dinette has the Gore-Tex and Reflectex on there with the Velcro all the way around to put it on and take it off. Side windows by the bed, main back window by the bed, 
all of those are good. I just need to get the buttons to finish the Gore-Tex so I can roll them up a little bit higher and get more light in. And I have the Reflect-Tex fitted for the skylight and over the fan. So those are all good. The only ones that I don't have coverings for with the Reflect-Tex are the kitchen window, the window in the door right there, although I do have two Gore-Tex coverings for that one, and then the small window in the bathroom. So I got a new roll. Here's Red supervising as usual. I got a new roll of Reflect-Tex and I'm going to cut some pieces for the other windows just because we might as well have insulation all the way around. And then the extra that's left over, I think I'm going to make some window coverings for the tiny house just because it gets really cold by that, that front glass door that we have right there. In the winter, if it's really cold out, you can stand by it and feel all of our hot air getting lost out the glass door. In the summer, I love it, but it's a pain in the winter. So I think having a little extra insulation on there would be helpful. I worked on cutting the new pieces of insulation for the kitchen window and the bathroom window in the scamp and getting new Velcro all the way around the window casing so that we were insulated all the way around. Okay, that should do. It is tucked all the way around, velcroed top, bottom, and sides. Maybe it could use a little bit more Velcro. We'll pass through for the handle so I don't have to take that off. And then I'll put the Gore-Tex curtain back over top of that. I got the new pieces fitted, well, almost fitted. This was the hardest one, the bathroom. I have to get some plastic tape to kind of go around the sides to hold it. The Velcro wouldn't stick on that window for some reason. And then there's the piece for the door, which just fits in there, no Velcro, which is nice. And the piece for the kitchen, right there. The other thing that I'm going to do to winterize, I actually do this periodically throughout the season, is I put a couple drops of peppermint oil in each of the cabinets and kind of around the scamp because for for one thing, mice don't like the smell of peppermint, but a lot of bugs also don't like it, and it makes the camper kind of smell nice. So a couple drops of peppermint in all the corners and all the cabinets. There are definitely worse things that the camper could smell like than peppermint oil. I really like peppermint, so I think it's nice. And it's just a natural way to, to keep pests and things out. So I'm going to put these away, and I think the scamp is ready for the trip next weekend for Patrick's birthday and I feel like we are a lot more prepared this year. We're just a lot more familiar with the scamp this year than we were last year and we're a little bit familiar with the campground but we'll get to explore a little bit more this year so looking forward to that. All right Red, come on, time to go in. Come on. Come on Red. Come on. No, oh, come on, no we have to go inside. Come on. Back in the tiny house, I ended up making cornbread. And since I had the oven on, what I do is take some old candles that have just a little bit of wax left in them, and I put them on the back grate where the oven vents, and that melts the wax so that I can make some of my fire starters. Once you have the wax melted, I have a bunch of dryer lint that I saved up and cardboard egg cartons and you just stuff each of the spaces with the dryer lint and then you're going to take the melted wax and pour that over the top to seal around the dryer lint and then it's so easy to start a campfire with this you can just pull off each of the individual egg holders sometimes we'll use two if it's a particularly challenging fire but we found that this works really well for starting campfires now we have the scamp all set up for a little bit of cold weather camping. We have our fire starters and we'll be able to do our first try with the Omnia stove to enjoy some baked goods for Patrick's birthday trip. So stick around and we'll take you guys along with us for that trip next weekend. <music> Just
justice the next president to be the news and watch here your career it's time for you to face those fears and it's all fair to be where and i'll be there so don't be scared just take a deep breath of air and one two three to ten you begin to focus again and no time flies we have enough to realize this bigger than the both of us